Hello Grade 6, welcome into the probability game of known as Greedy Pig. Now, that may be offensive to some people, but a Greedy Pig is a filthy animal that's greedy. Like, <sighs> So, some people change the name of this particular game to a five letter word, or you could just have numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm going to put the word skunk, some people could use that. So, I'm going to put S. K U N K. So skunk is a game played with a six sided dice. The object of the game is not to get a one. Okay, so you don't want to get a one. Now, normally when I do this for the entire class, we'd all be standing up, we'd have this chart put down in our maths book. And across the top, we've got one, two, three, four, five. There's going to be five particular columns. And now again, you might have some letters up there. You can make any five letter na name or word or whatever you want. Down the side, these are the number of throws I'm, I'm keeping a track of. Sometimes you don't need to, but to have a better understanding how to play this game, it's quite useful to look back on some of the numbers that seem to come up. We've touched on theoretical probability and experimental probability. So some people come up with a game plan, a theory that they stick to, and if you stick to it, you may have a better chance of winning, if it's a good formula. So the whole point of the game is, if we start here, we always start with an S until we roll a one. So if Mr. Bear rolls a two, gets a 2, then I put my score down 2. Then I roll again, and I land on a 6, I get 6. So at the moment my total is 2 plus 6 equals 8. 8. So I've had 2 rolls, what I need to be thinking about, will a 1 come up next? If a 1 comes up next, I lose all those points, I get 0, so I put 0 down the bottom, if a 1 comes up next. Now, if I think a one's coming up next, in my class I'd say, okay, if you think a one's coming up next, you can sit down on your seat, and you, that, that num those numbers there, they're safe. Like, it's money. You, you bank that money. You've got eight dirhams. If you think, no, I, I'll risk it, and you carry on, and I roll a five. That person who's still standing has now got 13 points. That person who sat down before has eight, but they're safe. This person is becoming greedy. So you want to try and sit down before the one is rolled. Now on here, you've got one chance out of six of landing on a one. But you have one chance out of six every time you roll it. So something to think about. If you're still standing, and then you roll a one, again, that's at zero points, you get nothing for that. Then we go on to the next one. So maybe you might be a bit conscious. Someone else has eight points, so you want to try and beat them. So, let's try this game. Pause this video, set up a grid like this, maybe even two grids. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five along the top, or skunk. And keep a track of the rolls. This will help you later on. Not It won't be immediately understood at this stage, but later on when you go back and you look at what numbers come up, and what role it seems to be at may help. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this dice. Now I've just got this dice uh, online, large dice. So let's give it a go. So Mr. Blair, when I say I'm going to stop, I will stop. But I'll continue for you guys. I'll go up to 10 throws, 10 rolls. Here we go. First one. It's a... Uh, Dice number. Oh no, we only want one to. Number of dice is number six. Six, that's it? Yep, okay, here we go. Oh no, I don't want six dice. I want one dice. Stop, get out. Go back, back to dice. Yes. There it is. Okay, use the full one. Alright, here we go. Got it set. 
First one is a five. Nope, I want more points than that. Roll it again. Greedy, greedy pig. That means I get nothing, zero. So I've got a one here. So in that case, I'm just keeping a track. Number one came up on the second roll that time. So I now go on to number two. Number two, I roll, ah, uh, same here. Four. No points that time. Four. I think, no, I'm going to roll it again. Four. I have eight points. Now keep going. Six. Woohoo! So at the moment, I have 14 points. I've rolled it three times. Theoretically, a one should come up in the next three throws. But I still have a one in, cha one in six chance every time I. I roll it. It's a three. Tell you what, I'm I'm going to sit down. I'm going to I'm banking this. I'm saving this. So this is these are my points now. 10, 14, 17. I have 17 points, and I am safe. I'm safe. 17 points. Are you sitting down? Are you going to continue? All right. Here we go. Let's see what you get. Come on, give us a one. Five, so, five, so now you're at, you have 22 points. Are you stopping? If you are, sit down. No, you're continuing, greedy pig. Five, ooh. So now you have 27 points. Are you stopping? Continuing, okay, carry on. Sure. Four. Okay, so we've had seven throws, one hasn't come up yet. Surely, surely now. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! So, if you had not sat down, your points are zero. However, if you sat down prior to that, then that's the points that you add up to. So I think you all continue, we're greedy. I think I'm in the lead. Now we're on to you. Here we go. So, we will continue, we're on to this one. It's a three. I'll put it in the brown. Are you stopping? Nope, continue. I'm stopping. I'm going to sit down. Yep, I'm back. I'm three. I'm going to take the points. So, here we go. We'll continue. Oh, five. These are the points that I'm missing out on. Five. Next one. Two. Are you stopping? No? Okay. Four. Oh dear, maybe I stopped too early. Next one, sitting. Are you stopping? Continuing, okay. Three. So at the moment, your total, if you're still standing, you have 17 points. 17. I've rolled it five times. Theoretically, this next roll should be a one. Theoretically. But again, every roll is one chance out of six. Here we go. It's a five. Are you getting greedy? You stopping? Continuing. Okay. Four. Seven rolls. This eighth one. Are you six. Lots of points, you should stop now, I'm telling you. Should have listened. So, if you were still standing, you have zero points. If you were continuing and you stopped somewhere in there, that's how many points you'd have. I think you're greedy. I think I'm in the lead still, I'm on 20 points. Okay, next one. We're on to N. And basically this continues all the way down. Okay? So, I'll continue this game. I'll let this continue. Oh, somebody's got nothing. It's a three. Not enough points, I want more. Oh. Oops, got a bit greedy. I've got a one here. So that means I get zero. And I'm assuming you did too. So at the moment, I'm looking at this 
We don't got a one here, it was two rolls. So I'm gonna put down here. It was on the second roll. It happened on the second roll. Second. It happened the second roll here as well. So there was two on the second roll. The next ones, it had, oh, sorry, these ones, there was a one there and a one here. So one on the eighth roll and one on the ninth roll. Hmm, I wonder what I'll do with this information. We're on to the last one. I'm going to go super big screen. Yep, here we go. Roll. Six. Next one. You stopping? Continue. Six. Oh, what were the chances of getting two sixes in a row? One out of 36. What are the chances of getting three sixes in a row? Ooh. Times that by six and you know. Ooh, two. That's three rolls. That means, theoretically, in the next one of these three rolls, I should roll a one. Two. Okay, I'm gonna go for one more, and then I'm gonna stop. One more. I'm a bit worried now. Three. That's good enough for me. I'm stopping. I'm going to bank that. That's giving me 12, 14, 16, 19. So my end product is 39. If I add that all up, 17 plus 3 is 20, plus 19, 39. Now that's not a very good score in all honesty. But let's see. Are you stopping? Let's try it. <laughs> One. I'm pretty confident I actually beat you. So, if I look at the data here, there was a 1 on the 6. So if we look at this information here, what could I use this data for to help me the next time I play? I rolled a 1 on the 2nd throw twice. I rolled a 6 uh, on the 6th throw. I rolled it on the 8th, 9th. Is there anything that anyone can come up with understanding how I could use this to help me next play this game better. Have a think about it. There are some strategies out there. Use it to your advantage.